the start, I usually start out behind the group and later on in the race try to catch up and pass them. Um, usually at the start, I try to maintain my spot behind people, but at the same time, I try passing them. Um, Jack is usually the one that I stay behind, or if I fall behind, I try to stick with Sovi, but sometimes that doesn't work out. But usually, by the 800 meters, I can stick with them and maintain my spot. Um, usually, we keep moving up and keep the same spot, but we start moving up and going as fast as we can by like the last 200. In between that, there's a lot of moving up and not letting anyone pass you. At the end, I, since I'm a freshman, I don't have much speed, so I usually get passed by a lot of people at the end. I've noticed every year Select kind of has one kid as the, the JV captain. And this year it was me. Uh, I think that it's a hard role to fill because the JV is like most of the team and they're also the least mature on the team. I don't know if that's probably not a very big secret. Uh, so it would be so while varsity is off doing their thing and concentrating and doing what they're supposed to do. I would kind of have to run the show behind the scenes and make sure that all the JV kids are doing what they're supposed to do. Did I enjoy it? Yes, I most certainly enjoyed it. I think that this was an excellent opportunity to improve my, uh, my leadership skills, especially with a big group of very smart young men. So at the end of the year, just to make a real long story short, we run a 5K uh, just to kind of help kids who, did know, who didn't make travel team know that just because they didn't make it, it doesn't mean it's the end. They can still keep going and they can still keep training and that that last race kind of gave them something to train for. It was kind of their end of season motivator like, hey, that's my last race, that's my real last race and I can still do well and it's, it's not over until it's over. And now that it is over for me, I definitely say I hope that next year they keep doing it and I hope that kids don't settle. I don't want kids that run that 5K to settle and stay in that 5K. I want them to keep shooting for travel team and I hope every single one of them make it. Well, I've experienced with a lot of different teams. Like my freshman year, I did basketball and I, there's a huge difference between the key team chemistry between the cross country team and the basketball team. Like the cross country team, we're always doing things together while the basketball team kind of seems separate. Thinking back of all the memories of the past years running with the seniors, just knowing that you've put so many miles in with them and it's the last season you'll have with them, it just hits you that this is the last chance you'll be with them. So a bunch of us are going to have to step up and get a bigger role on the team so we have a chance of giving it our best shot at States again next year. Taking time for the team, it was, I, I liked doing it, I guess, even though I wasn't running and I wasn't able to work out, it still made me feel like I was a part of the team and I still loved being on the team and in this environment. One thing I've noticed is that whenever I pass a cross country guy in the hallways, they always say hi to me, I always say hi to them. Everyone's always making sure to, to catch up with everybody else, and we're always like talking to each other. Like other people, like yeah, they might say something every once in a while, but otherwise, it just seems like they kind of after practice go home, do their own thing, just do whatever they want, and only really be a part of their team when they actually show up to a game or a practice where it's relevant. The chain symbolizes the team, like the team together, sticking together and not having a weak link. If it's seven, chain, seven chains together and uh, that just symbolizes the, the team combined as one and working together as one. Well, the barrel, both of us are sophomores, so we've only gotten to sign it twice, but 
it really is a symbol of growth and being a part of the team, commitment, getting through all, all four years. We've only signed the, the bottom two, but by our senior year, we're gonna get to sign the top, so it gives us something to look forward to. So the barrel, we got it. I guess someone stole it a while ago, and then they just passed it down to every generation of runners, and every year, everybody signs it, and seniors sign at the top, freshmen at the bottom, and then every year they just paint over it, and then there's every runner that's ever run. Um, I think the most important takeaway I'll get from cross country is def definitely has to do with commitment. It's something you can't like take a break from. I've learned a lot about, especially in this season, a lot about goals, a lot about fluid thinking, and sticking to goals, long-term goals, not just not just little ones. The biggest thing I'll probably take away from cross country, my high school cross country career, is dedication sticking to one thing and uh, just keeping with the family not that's not even your actual family but having people around you that motivate you and uh, bring up your spirits well last year for me I felt like since I was like around the team so much, I felt like we were almost invincible. I didn't understand the dynamic of other teams as much. I feel like I felt like we were invincible and that it was going to be handed to us. This year, after we got up, we got beat by Hudson, I came to the realization that it was going to take a lot more work to get where we wanted to be. Cross country and just this team in general, I feel like has taught us all some important lessons about being dedicated to what you do um, and just staying concentrated on a goal for a long time because you may not get it when you first start. It takes a long time to get where you want to be, but once you finally get there, it feels great. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, I got injured this year a couple times. Um, First time, you know, did everything I could to work past it, modified some workouts. Um, came back pretty strong and then got injured again, and that was pretty rough. Um, at the end of the day, I think that's kind of what made my season go flat at the end, but that's just going to be more motivation next year for me to lead the guys, um, do everything we can to hopefully get up there and take a state title next, next year. Well, you know, I think we just got to make sure that the freshmen know and that they see what we do every day. You know, they do it too, um, but coming in, seeing one, two state runner-ups, you can kind of get the sense that it just kind of happens and that we're just good, but, you know, that's not really true. Um, we are good, but it's because of how hard we work. So I think we got to just stress the fact that they got to work year-round, not just in the fall or the summer. they got to work the winter um, and spring too. And you know, just kind of show them and lead them um, to you know, what we have to do every year to get those state championships, state runner-ups, things we do, continue our tradition of excellence. Sophomore year, I kind of trained the same way I had the year before. And like, I was getting better, so I shouldn't have. I should have stepped it up a little more. I should have been more methodical about the training. I wish I had talked to Schleich more. I wish I, because when you talk to Schleck, you start to understand the training. You start to understand, like, oh, I can tweak it like this. I can tweak it like that. I can do this. I can do that. And you can start to step it up a little bit. With his help, I didn't talk to him enough. And I knew I had two options. I could either start working really hard and prove, you know, like, all right, like, this isn't my best. Like, I'm better than this. I know what I can do, and I can prove it to you. Or I could just quit and say, you know what, I don't care. Like, I'm done. And then, it had been like two days after that since I'd run, because I was like, I don't care. I'd get like five steps out the door and say, you know what, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm terrible, like, it doesn't matter. And then Phil came up to me and was like, hey, like, we're gonna run this 5K, because you know, we still have fitness. So we're gonna be working out, we're gonna be doing this 5K on the same day as NXR. And we're just gonna get some of the guys together that didn't race travel. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is dumb. Like, 
we make sure everything like, why are we still running? Like, we shouldn't quit. I don't want to run. And he said, well, I was just like, hey, like, if you quit now, like, you're not going to be able to prove to yourself what you learned in your freshman year. And I was like, all right, well, you got me there. And he reminded me, because I forgot. I had forgotten this. And that winter, I got to work. I mean, there was, like, no stone was going to be left unturned. If there was something that I could do to make myself better, I was going to do it. You know, and I remember Andrew Ty had, had a foot problem. And he met me at uh, Prairie Oaks for a long run. And I was going to be doing 12 that day. And he was going to be doing 7. So he was going to be with me for the first half. And we got about halfway through. And he goes, you know, like, I haven't seen you running with anybody. But, like, I've seen your vlog. And you've always come back last. I would say that there are probably not many people this winter who are working harder than you. And that was, like, that was pretty cool. He was a guy that I looked up to so much, and just to acknowledge how much I had been working and how much I had put into it, that, that just meant a lot to me that day. And that was just the right amount of encouragement, right when I needed it. And he was just the best guy in the world. Because I know next year is going to be a, it's going to be an adjustment, and we're all going to have to really focus up if we want to have a good finish at state because we're losing so many people. And I know that the freshmen they're going to think that hey, two or even I bet even some of the sophomores do as well. Hey, two state finishes in a row, second place, that's, it just seems like we should do that every year, but I mean, the amount of work we put in is, it's kind of overseen sometimes by some of the younger guys. My first year going to state sophomore year was definitely more just, I was happy to be there. I wanted to do all I could, but I knew that I wasn't as fast as the other guys. I just knew I needed to push myself, but this year, my junior year, second time, I definitely felt like I knew, knew what I needed to do. I knew how how I needed to push myself and work for my teammates and her because sophomore year, I just I felt really just stupid. I didn't really know what to do. I was nervous, and this year I definitely had more knowledge and I knew who to race with and who to try to find and stick with. All right, so for kids like me, kids that uh, aren't very social and kids that don't really make friends that well, uh, cross-country culture has been one of the most beneficial things to my life in this chapter. Um, it's really the whole culture idea, like people they're like, oh yeah, cross country is a cult, but they don't actually, they don't understand the true culture of a cross country team like Larry Davidson. We're just true friends inside, and that is where the culture comes in, because the Larry Davidson culture is what teaches that. So, through my four years, um, at first I didn't understand the culture my freshman year. I basically showed up and I said, okay, this is, this is another sport, I'm running, and it's not very fun. And then I started to realize after spaghetti dinner after spaghetti dinner every Friday night that wow, these guys actually show up just to do, or just to hang out with each other, just to be with each other, and just to focus on team concept and team goals. This is my final year of, uh, well, it was my final year of uh, cross country, and I'm a senior and now cross country is completely over with. And that makes me sad inside, but it also, it also helps me understand after looking back on everything that I actually got a lot out of cross country. You know, I wasn't always the best runner. I wasn't always the best committed runner. I wasn't always a varsity runner. I mean, I've had my ups and downs with cross country, the sport itself. But what I've learned from it is that dedication, persistence, and personality is what drives people in life. Uh, cross, Hilliard Davidson cross country is different than cross country. It's a, it's a way of life. Uh, I could rely on these guys for anything my entire team, honestly, for anything. And 
I made uh, my senior year. I started making videos for our team. Well, my junior year I started, but it wasn't very good. And I started making videos my senior year, uh, like this video right now. And I make I make these videos so that uh, everybody on our team can have these memories that we're ha that we're experiencing right now. They can look back in 20 years and experience this same special thing because this really is a special thing. I'm extremely thankful to be a part of it and extremely thankful to give back to it. Videos and my experiences and passing on the traditions. I didn't really get it that much in 2015 when I was a freshman and we didn't qualify for states, but since my brother was on the team I knew that we were always top five, we were top five in the state every year that my brother was on the team. So. Looking back on it now, and even back then, I remember just feeling embarrassed to think, wow, we got 11th in the regional, and I don't even know the last time that we finished that low at the state meet. But really, that just made getting to the state meet seem so much more rewarding because we knew what it felt like to miss out, and then being able to run in it and get on the podium in the past two years was just an awesome feeling. I mean, if I could go back and do anything different, I don't really know what I'd do because there's, unfortunately, I have a lot of regrets with cross country being over now. And my career didn't all exactly play out the way I wanted to or how I imagined it freshman year. But the journey and everything that I went on was probably the best thing I'll ever experience and I know I could probably think about a lot of things that I wish I could change but the only thing I guess would be maybe running track instead of playing baseball freshman year just so I could spend some more time with the team and really grow more. I don't know about the whole team but the core group of guys, the top runners, we were all really close. We were getting really emotional towards the end of the season. And this year, I just didn't think that the team would have that same thing. But at Camp Hammer, we learned that, you know, I was wrong to doubt that. And, you know, I think especially because of the group of seniors and the big impact that we've had on this team. Because I really think, and it's easy for me to say because I am a senior, but I think that we've been a really huge part of this team maybe even more so than any other class that I've been on the team with. I think that just the realization that it was all about us, our last time at Camp Hammer, and when we were going around and just kind of, really, with us being seniors, we understand all that stuff 100%. All the stuff we talked about at camp, and then just thinking back on how fast those four years went, it was hard not to get a little emotional and I think it was really it shows you how close the team was that you know the juniors and some of the sophomores were feeling that too and getting emotional and that's what one of the most special things about this team has been. So, injuries have been a big part of my entire career that I've had to overcome. Uh, honestly I faced a lot of adversity throughout the years but I would have to say starting freshman year, uh, when I got pneumonia at the end of the season, I was really doing well coming up to there. I, I got up to varsity, which I had never run before in my entire life, so it, it really meant something to be able to be a part of that, but uh, when I got pneumonia, it was really hard to come back, and it ended up, you know, kind of staggering, or making me struggle a little bit through winter and spring, and I had a few injuries here and there, and then that all kind of led up to uh, my junior year during track when I broke my foot because I was being really stupid uh, after track meet and I would have to say those four months that I was out in a boot were probably some of the hardest months of my entire life. It was it's really hard to see all the guys that I was running with you know improving and just sitting there taking times but I was I was always happy to be with them and hey help push me through it and honestly looking to the future it kind of, you know, gave me, gave me a path to go. I mean, I was able to be smarter about my running and to 
communicate more with coach and to my teammates and to teach them from my mis my previous mistake. So freshman and sophomore year, we did not do very well. Uh, freshman year, we didn't make it to state. It's sophomore year, we were ninth at state, and then going into junior and senior year, we were runner up at state state both years and consecutively won OCC's districts and regionals. Uh, I think that freshman year and sophomore year, they kind of gave the entire varsity team experience in what that in what we needed to do in order to get to that championship level because. We, we were able to learn that it's not just handed to you, and it's not something that just comes easily. I mean, freshman year we saw a team that was kind of broken up, and we saw how much they struggled to continue the success that Davidson's cross-country teams have always had. And going into sophomore year, we, we kind of got more of a vision of what we wanted to do, but we still didn't quite get there getting ninth at state, second at regionals. I mean. We had a much bigger picture for what we wanted to do than that. And so going into junior and senior year, I think that really inspired us to do better because uh, from those past failures, we were able to see that it's, it's not easy and it made us work a lot harder. I mean, I know junior year, we were focused the entire year on that one goal to win a state title. And although Hudson did get us by a pretty good amount that year, then that even drove us further to yes, this past year, my senior year, when we fought harder than ever to try and beat Hudson for that state title. And yeah, although yeah, we're so close. Really you got to uh, In the end, I'm ha really pleased with how everything went, and I'm happy I was able to experience such a great amount of work for four years I've been here and such great progress. So. So middle school, my I always played football, basketball, and I was decent at it. I had fun with it. And then seventh grade, my dad uh, convinced me to go out for track because he did it in high school and he was really good at it. So I thought I, I should just give it a shot. So I did. And I uh, was the only one who ever wanted to run a mile. And yeah, so I had fun with that. And then eighth grade, I just went back football, basketball again, and uh, I kind of kind of forgot about running. And then eighth grade rolls around, and I decided I, w I wanted to give this, this running thing a real good shot. And so I, I started working real hard, and I started to love, love the sport, love the grind of running. And when I, I broke the middle school 1600 meter record, and that was when I really decided, like, I think this is, I, I have a real good shot in this sport. I think this is what I want to do. And then high school rolls around and running cross, I chose cross country over playing football. And then I chose indoor track over playing basketball. And that might have been the best decision of my life because the dynamic of this team, everything that happens in this program, it's unrivaled in any sport in the school and any sport in the, in the whole state of Ohio. I, I'm going to come back for as many meets as I possibly can. I'll be in Kentucky, but you better believe that I'll, I'll be back for everything that I can be. I'll be back all the time in the summer to check on, check on the guys that, that who are staying and make sure they're, they're doing what they need to be doing because I don't want anything to go downhill after we leave. And this this program's done so much for me, and I'm going to do everything that I can to get back to it. I think honestly, the biggest factor emerging as a front runner was probably all my summer training. Uh, coming af out of track season, postseason, doing the two mile really kept me in that shape to do longer stuff during workouts. So when we started doing those 400s at tempo pace, I was really able to get down to my paces that I was normally going in track season, like in the two mile. So I think that definitely played in my favor. And then I was able to really build off that. And once fall started coming along, we could do those workouts. I was able to maintain that faster pace that really led me to get up to the front of the pack in most races. 
Uh, last year, I feel like I worked a decent amount, but I feel like I always felt like I could do more. This year, I was really just going in with the mentality of like, you know what you need to do. Honestly, it was hard this year, but the training paid off and coach knew what he was doing. So I think the fact that we were able to pull out another runner up is just amazing. Honestly, I think the biggest thing I'm gonna take away from cross country for the rest of my life is just that sense of belonging and just knowing that you have teammates there for you and that even when things are hard and when like you're down about a race, there's always that next race and you always have the people there for you to help you out. Um, just knowing that the people are there is everything and that you have a tremendous coaching staff and you have teammates that care about you and wanna see you get better. I feel like that's the biggest thing I'm gonna take away is that people are there for you and you can't be afraid to go talk to them because if you are, then you're never gonna move on.